So yes, a quick pre-summary. This is um, on Facebook talking about HD Dobre 3's new intro if you're wondering what it is we're chatting about. So, enjoy. Nice effects and, uh, and a good transition to the video, but maybe it shouldn't be as long. It's just as long as my other two intros. XD! <laughs> oh, scratch that. Two seconds shorter. Lamau. And he's talking about the two previous intros. Two seconds shorter. Uh, looks like it's around two seconds longer and the previous one was also more variegated So you didn't notice the length so clearly also. What if I thought that the previous one should have been shorter from the start? Oosh! <laughs> it gets me it just gets me you meant to say touche Oosh! Sorry Ray, but I love you nonetheless, but well, it was fun and who's Maltas Fipke? I guess you'll never get to know so now that I've spent enough time on that crap, I'm back from a week in Eastern Skona, as to Leon. Thought I would say back from a week of non-existence upload. Huh? Well, I'm better than that at the moment. <laughs> and that's going to be one of the talks of this video, as if I haven't talked in many videos enough about my future plans for this channel and apart from that I'll be getting to a few different things in this video we'll see what I have the time for simply for a starter I'll just allow myself the cheekiness to comment over the way the views on my channel are distributed because they kind of dip on the videos with World of Tanks gameplay or more specifically the videos with a World of Tanks thumbnail my dreams this video had Modern Warfare 2 gameplay as well as a tank game and of course I've also been smart enough to have uh, Modern Warfare 2 gameplay and therefore a Modern Warfare 2 thumbnail on this video to at least get the active people on my channel to to hear this plea how sneaky but I know we are not talking about a lot of views here. There are perhaps 10 to 15 people who watch my videos actively, uh, but still, I, it's nice to not, to not get like three views on a video that I work hard on and then perhaps 15 views on a video that I didn't work hard on just because they're different games. But I, I, I know where, I know from where I've gotten my subscriber base, uh, from which channels and from what community. And it's mostly the Call of Duty community, and a lot of people are here from Drifters channel, meaning more Call of Duty game gamers. Uh, so I don't really blame you for not watching my World of Tanks uploads, although I recommend you to give the game a chance. It gets funnier to watch videos of it once you uh, understand how all the um, mechanics work. And uh, I will also try to stretch out a World of Tanks community. Although I don't know how to get in contact with them. Would be go out on jingles and quickie babies channels and spamming a bit. Woohoo. Uh, oh, and my uh, last extra music uh, video with World of Tanks gameplay. It was something I was quite happy with as I managed to combine a nice gameplay with uh, shell music, very good music, and learning something about playing artillery at the same time. There's a lot of text in it. Maybe able to guess that from the name. Um, all at the same time and also the text was synchronized with the music and it looks really nice and it took some time and uh, yeah hashtag proud hashtag uh, I hate hashtagging people now enough about that third year of high school is about to start and I'm about to have the opposite of the time of my life um, take my last year at history and social science classes and you have my upcoming term woohoo plus I have to start working on a high school work project kind of thing and you can work with a lot of stuff but it has to revolve around your choice and line of studies meaning I have to pick something about natural science and in spite of my lackluster description it's serious stuff if you don't score an E which um, 
is the only grade you can get, um, but it's done harder than uh, a regular E. Yeah, if you don't score okay, E, you can't get into university. And I don't know what it's like for people in other parts of the world, but I guess you have something similar. So it's gonna be gonna have to put it down, put it down, put down a lot of time on that. But I'm not going to say expect another dead year on the channel. Well, uh, I just did, but um, well, I'll I'll just I'm just going to leave it open. There may be time for quite a few uploads sometimes, but on other occasions there may be a lack of my videos in your subscription box. It's never good when I say things like this. Keeping it open, is it? Oh, what is there more to say? Yeah. <clears throat> this is all I do. I found an artist who I absolutely love. A completely unknown guy called Digital Native who makes soothing, lovely drum and bass perfect for both getting hyped and relaxing in spite of how uh, <clears throat> paradoxical paradoxical is that? <laughs> Sounds a bit strange, but paradoxal, I guess. It's part of how paradoxal that may sound. And I found out about him thanks to Ro, who wrote an article about how he thought spamming famous people's videos wasn't at all a cheap way to get followers. At the end of that article, he promised to give serious feedback to the first five artists who would spam <laughs> with cheekiness spam some of their uh, music in the comments below on his article. And Digital Native was one of these, and whoop, I suddenly know about him. New. Um, thanks a ton for doing such stuff, Rogue. And uh, also, that gives me support for back in the days when I used to spam post and made videos about where I talked about it not being wrong. Maybe I should start spam posting again. It'd most certainly be a nice way to get a few more active followers. We'll see about that. Maybe on some World of Tanks channels. And last, I found a wiki site called the Bad Web Comic Wiki, and there is so much to say about them, which I will in a future video. And what they do is guessable from their name. They review what they think are bad web comics. And what if you don't know what web comics are, then search it up on a wiki. I'm not going to explain that. And to some extent, I like their sometimes crushingly accurate descriptions of silly things and how they slaughter web comics relying solely on fan service. So this, uh, however, many of the reviews are just too filled up with personal opinions, and quite often they attack the creator rather than the comic, calling them racist, douchebags, cry, crybabies, and all kinds of stuff. They seem to think their reviews are flawless, in spite of the many flaws they point out on other people, and you sometimes get the feeling they think their words are fact and not discussable. Well, it's hard to summarize all here. And it's for a later video. Hope you enjoyed, hope you know what's coming up somewhat. No, you probably don't. But, yeah, I'm active. <laughs> Thumbs up. And I expected some thunderclap in the background. Should have said that by the start. We had a thunder shit coming over us, but no thunder in the background. Boring commentary. Thunderclap crap. Bye bye.